Hey everybody and welcome to my Patreon page. I am doing your guys' daily for all signs for June 1st, 2018. You'll have to forgive my quality. I'm using my webcam because my camera is not participating today. So I do apologize. So the 1st of June already. That is craziness. Okay, we will start with... We'll do air signs first today. First card is you air signs. Second card is who you're connecting with, thinking about. Um, and the third card is your outcome. Spirit angels, what messages do you have for air signs? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay, your guys' bottom of the deck is temperance. So, um, some healing is needed. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's time to go within and do some self-healing. Um, balance is needed in your life right now. Um, you guys are just kind of, uh, a lot of you are trying to, um, recover from a situation that just ended. Uh, for a group of you, you guys are moving on, moving away, moving forward, uh, moving away from turbulent waters, from a bad relationship. There's a six of swords here. Yeah, so for a group of you, you guys are leaving a soulmate or the mother or father of your children um, because there's just too much emotional uh, hurt there. You guys have gone through some things that are just crazy. Bottom, or bottom. Um, for whoever you're connecting with, you guys have the Empress in reverse and the High Priestess in reverse. So whoever you're connecting with is out of their element. They are, um, they're listening to other people instead of themselves. They, uh, they're not wanting to create anything new with you. Um, this is the mother of your children or your mother um, also has an effect on this, but more, most importantly, they're not listening to their own heart. They are listening to everybody else, but themselves and you, and you are walking away from, you are the one that is leaving this person. Um, your outcome is the magician. So, uh, let me clarify that. And you got the two of pentacles to go with that. So you have what it takes to figure this out. You have what it takes um, to, to figure out where this is going to go and how you're going to balance life without this other person. You are going to be just fine. You're going to be able to manifest whatever it is that you want and your life is going to come back into balance, which is something that is desperately needed with the temperance card on the bottom. Um, for a group of you, um, you are leaving the mother of your children or you are moving out from your mother's house. Um, and this is causing some ripples in the water. Um, stay strong. You can do this. It's time for you to move forward and to move on is what Spirit is saying. All right. Let's do water. Spirit angels, what messages do you have for water signs? Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer for June 1st. Whoa, way too many cards. The Eight of Cups and the Eight of Wands I did see flip up, but there was half the deck there, so... Okay, dealing with a Scorpio or you're refusing to let a chapter of your life close. Or this could be you, Scorpio. The person you're connecting with is the Four of Swords. So they're taking a step back and reevaluating this relationship. And your outcome is the uh, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Your bottom of the deck is be patient. You have done what you need to do in order for this relationship to um, come into fruition or to be uh, salt or to be reconciled. So it's just time to to be patient and wow and see where it goes. Um, for you guys, water signs, you have death and the six of swords in reverse. <coughs> 
you're not letting the natural process of things happen. You are trying to keep something from coming to an end. You are trying to keep somebody from moving forward, moving on. You, For some of you, there's um, you're playing like mind games, trying to get this person to stay with you. Or you are still clinging to somebody of your past and you need to cut these karmic ties and bonds. The person that you are dealing with has the four swords clarified by the five of wands. So they're just tired of the argument. They're tired of the fight. They're tired of the conflict. So they're just going within. They are resting. They are reevaluating, taking a look at the relationship from different perspectives. But all they know is they're tired of this. They're resting. Your outcome is the Knight of Pentacles clarified by the Two of Swords. So you have a choice to make. Um, but you're not making any choice right now. You're stagnant. You're not moving forward. You're not doing anything. You're not offering anything to anybody because you don't know what you want. You're confused. You're stuck in the spot. You're stuck. This is so stagnant. This is so heavy. I can feel it. Um, you need to make a choice whether to stay or whether to go. Um, for a group of you, they, the universe is pushing you in the direction to go. Once you move forward, this death card will come in the upright and you will have a new beginning. But you, you can't keep clutching to this past. Um, the other person, they're tired. They are tired of the conflict. They are taking a rest. Um, they're not moving forward either with it in reverse. They're not offering you anything. Because they are trying to figure out what is going on themselves. Okay. We'll do Earth next. What angels, what messages do you have for our Earth sign? Yes, Capricorn and Virgo for June 1st, 2018. Awesome. You guys have the whoa. You guys have the Ace of Pentacles. There's another card in here that flipped somewhere. The person you are connecting with is the Queen of Wands. And the outcome is the Knight of Swords. And the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. So beautiful. Justice. The King of Wands and Strength. Oh my goodness. I have messages galore coming in right now. Let me get some clarifiers on these. My Ace of Pentacles here for our Earth signs for June 1st. Nice. Okay. The bottom of the deck on the clarifier is a Six of swords. So some of you, you need to move forward. You need to move on, leave the conflict behind and follow your heart. Okay. So you guys have the ace of pentacles clarified by the ace of swords. You guys are coming out of a fog. You guys are coming out of a time where you were confused. You didn't know what you wanted. You didn't know who you wanted to be with you. Some of you have a third party, but some of you are just confused. You didn't know if you wanted to leave this person or um, not. But all you know is you wanted this. You wanted the Ace of Pentacles. You have now realized you have now um, that fog has been lifted. And you now know what it takes to get that Ace of Pentacles. And you are moving towards it. You are moving towards it. The person you are thinking of or connecting to is the Queen of Wands. Clarified by the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So, for a group of you, you are waiting on this Queen of Wands to become single, um, or uh, for a group of you, I'm getting you are leaving a Earth sign or an Air sign to be with this Fire sign female, could be Sagittarius. Um, they were putting in a lot of work towards this connection with you, but now um, they're wondering if all this work was worth it. You are going to come in very quick with the truth and tell them how you feel. Um, it's going to be very passionate. You could be sending them a message. Um, you're going to open up and be honest with them. You are going to let them know that they're the one, that this fire sign is the one, 
and that you are moving away from whoever um, it is that you are currently with to be with this fire sign. You also have the Ace of Cups on the bottom, which is beautiful. This will, this will, I mean, look at this. The Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Hello. Just absolutely beautiful earth signs. You guys are going to have a beautiful, beautiful June 1st. Um, for a group of you, you have to uh, face your fear and have the courage to move towards this fire sign. Whatever it is that's standing in your way. Could be another person. Could be a job. Could be a distance between you two. Whatever it is that's standing in, the ch in between the two of you being together, you need to overcome that fear in order to move towards that uh, Sagittarius or any fire sign. Um, the time is now. Uh, spirit is encouraging you to move towards what is emotionally going to satisfy you. All right, fire signs. It's Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. What messages do you have for our fire signs June 1st, 2018? Well, maybe here. Okay, fire signs. What is going on? Your bottom of the deck, you're ready to give up. You have uh, been to battle and you feel like this is no longer worth it. You're emotionally drained and you've made a choice. Yep. Okay, so you guys have the Eight of Swords. You're feeling trapped, physically trapped by a situation that you feel like you have no control over. Um, the situation could be um, caused by somebody who you feel betrayed you, backstabbed you. Um, this energy is very heavy. And that's what's causing you to feel um, physically stuck. Uh, even though you're not, you can do whatever you want. You can move wherever you want. You can go wherever you want. But this energy of being um, betrayed, you feel it's it's left you almost paralyzed. Um, you're fearful of the future. You're afraid to, to go back out there. Um, let's see who, what the Page of Pentacles is here for. You're waiting on a message from an earth sign. Um, you have a lot of love for this person. You are emotionally invested in them. You care about them. You want to be with them. And you're waiting on this message, but it's not coming in yet. There's um, something is blocking that message from coming in. Um, and your bottom of the deck is the Six of Swords as well. Wow. So um, you're being urged to move forward also. Um, you are, the outcome of this is you are going to come out of this state of depression, anxiety, fear, um, sleepless nights, and it's being clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. So this message is going to come in. It is going to, I mean, you're at the Ten of Swords, so a new beginning is here. You're no longer letting this have a hold on you because you're being offered a gift, a new beginning um, with an earth sign. So if you, these two... Between Earth and Fire, uh, most definitely the two could be connected. I could be picking up on the same group of people. But, um, yeah, you have the Ace of Pentacles as well. So, And the Six of Swords on the bottom of your deck. So you're being urged to move forward. Uh, once you move forward, you're going to find happiness, abundance, um, financial security, emotionally, uh, emotionally secure. It's, it's just all going to work out for the better. Let's do... I'm going to do one card per Zodiac for today. Can I get one card per Zodiac? And what they can expect on June 1st, 2018. Alright, so... We will start with Taurus. What can Taurus expect June 1st, 2018? Okay, I got two cards for you guys. You have the Eight of Swords and the Star card. So you're going to get out of feeling trapped. Um, you are going to come out of this energy because you're, 
your wishes are coming true. You could be dealing with a, uh, an Aquarius, but um, more so the stars are aligning and you're going to be able to break free out of this. When the stars align in the, in the right position and divine timing is here, your wishes are going to come true. But just make sure that you are not giving too much. If you're giving more than what you're receiving, then it's out of balance and um, it, it will not come forward for you the way it's supposed to. All right, we'll do Virgo next. What can Virgo expect? All right, Virgo, your own card just fell out. The Hermit. It's time to go within. Um, it's time to realize what it is that you want in this life and move forward towards it. The universe is at your back. Um, you're being spiritually guided in a direction to take a certain path. And once you, um, once you start following that path, things are going to start um, changing for you for the better. Right now, you, you're ignoring it is what I'm hearing. You are... The universe is trying to give you downloads and you're pay you're not paying attention. You're ignoring it. It's time to go spiritually within and follow the light of the divine. All right, Capricorns. We will do Capricorn. Whoa. You just had the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. New beginning, new start, and a gift from God. A gift from the universe. Um, you guys are starting a spiritual journey and you are being rewarded for it. The universe is there to give you your, your new beginning. Financially, you guys will have big financial rewards coming in on um, Friday. For a group of you, I see you investing as well in like the stock market. Um, that is going to be very successful, but don't rush into anything. Make sure you are um, investigating your... Uh, where you're going to put your money, you know, don't just stick it in somewhere. And when you do, you will, um, after you do your research, you will come into some big money. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Sagittarius. What can Sagittarius expect on June 1st? Way too many. Sagittarius, this one. Oh my gosh, you guys got the same thing. If you are a Sagittarius and with a Capricorn, I tell you what, these readings are starting to come together um, between the last reading I just did. New beginning, a gift from God, being rewarded for your hard work, um, financially, being able to financially secure yourself. Um, for a group of you, you've been having financial issues, um, not being able to like self-sustain. You are receiving a gift from God on June 1st. It's going to change your life. I just, I am hearing this. You, Sagittarius, for this group of you, your, your life will be changed for the better on Friday. All right, Aries. You have the Eight of Wands. You're waiting for um, a message from somebody. Could be another fire sign. Uh, doesn't have to be. You're waiting for a message from somebody. You you put yourself out there. Um, you sent a message to somebody and you're waiting on a response back. Or somebody sent a message to you and you have to respond but you're not sure how to. It's going to be delayed. Um, probably a week. Uh, before you get the answer you're looking for or before you decide to answer that other person. Uh, because you're confused. You don't know what you want right now. You know what you want, but you don't know. All right. Leo. Leo, you guys are getting the Wheel of Fortune. So um, big karmic shifts are cha happening for you. Um, you guys have something really big coming in. It's You're going to get it from a fixed sign. So that's um, Taurus, uh, Leo, Scorpio, or... Who am I missing? A Gemini. Yeah. You guys, yeah, you guys have... You're... 
your karmic scales are balancing and karma is turning in your good ways. A life changing event. This has something to do with, um, with work or money. I'm not seeing love with this one. Um, work or money. Somebody's going to either offer you a job or you're going to get a promotion or, uh, a raise something. Um, all your hard work is going to be acknowledged is what I'm hearing, uh, on Friday. All right. Water signs. Start with cancer. What can cancer expect on Friday, the 1st of June? Cancer, you have the Knight of Wands in reverse. So um, for this group of you, you have fallen for somebody that you didn't expect. Um, this was somebody that you were just going to kind of have a fling with. And now you're attached to them and you're waiting for them to come back. Um, Yeah, I don't see them coming back for another four to five weeks, but they will return. They will give you answers of what happened, why they disappeared. They freaked out. They got scared and they ran. Um, they will be returning though, um, but it's going to take a couple weeks. Scorpio, whoa, you got the page of wands. So you are receiving a message from a fire sign. This is an offer of love. I'm hearing um, this is going to come in very quick. Um, you, but you're kind of questioning whether it's like here to stay or not. Um, it is okay. It's, uh, I don't see this energy leaving right away, but just be cautious because they're not here to stay for good. So yeah, it's just enjoy your time. Um, just, uh, you know, keep it light. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, just enjoy it. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy the day. Uh, but it, it is a fire sign. It's, they're going to come and go, but it, you're going to have a lot of fun while they're there. Pisces. What can Pisces expect? Pisces. You guys got the Ace of Wands. So a new passionate beginning for you guys. You guys have a new fire under you. You guys are being very creative. You're going to have a very creative idea come in on Friday. And it's going to come from a fire sign. Um, I'm getting uh, Aries or Sagittarius. They have both in their chart. They're going to come towards you with an idea. Um, this is a love partner. So, um, if you are with an Aries or a Sagittarius, you guys are going to create something big, big. And, um, and it's going to be very exciting and very successful. So congratulations for that. What do we got left? Air, Gemini. Let's do Gemini. Gemini. You guys got your, uh, you guys got the soulmate card. The You guys have somebody very important coming to you. You are meeting your life partner, um, your soulmate, on Friday. I see you meeting them at a public event. Um, it is out, like, whether you're at a club or um, there's lots of people around, I see. So don't stay inside on Friday. Go out. Get out there and mingle because you guys are meeting the one on Friday. Um Especially if, uh, for this group of you, I'm seeing, especially if you are a female between the ages of 34 and 38, um, or a male, I'm getting late twenties to early thirties, get out there because that, this is the age group I'm seeing. Also, if you're like in your early fifties, I'm not sure what sex that is though. Okay. Libra. What does Libra have? Okay, these two wanted to pop. Okay, so you guys are getting over um, heartache from a marriage that is not working out. Um, you guys are finally healing. You're finally getting over this energy. You're finally seeing the, that you have blessings all around you. Even though three of your cups spilled, you are still seeing that uh, there's blessings out there. And you guys are coming out of a depression. Which, thank goodness, Libra, you guys have had a rough six months to last year. Lots of sadness for you guys, um, but it's all going to be okay. 
you guys are realizing that there's more fish in the sea. But most importantly, you're coming out of that depression. And Aquarius, last but not least. What does Aquarius have in store? All right, you guys are walking away. Um, you're walking away from a situation that has really um, cut you deep. You're walking away. It's a, it's a very public, um, like everybody knows what's going on. Uh, yeah, it's a very public situation that you're going through. Um, whether it's just, you know, the people at work gossiping, you know, in the break room or your neighbors chit-chatting. I mean, it's not like the whole world knows about it, but it's public what happened to you or what you did to your, this partner. But, um, you're the one walking away, Aquarius. You have had enough and yeah, you've had enough. You've had enough of the public mockery. You've had enough of the heartache and nobody's winning. So you are leaving. All right, I will pull an angel card for each uh, element, and then we will call it a day. And I will also be releasing tomorrow um, the month or the weeklies and monthlies for June. All right, let's do Earth first. What advice do you have for Earth? Okay, this one wanted to come out. Unrequited love. So there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Remember, it was calling for you to move forward, calling for you to move on. You need to move on from that relationship that is no longer serving you. It is time. There's not enough love to keep the relationship going. So move towards somebody that is um, waiting for you, that loves you, or, or just even being single. It's time to move on. All right, let's do um, fire signs. What advice do you have for fire signs, angels? Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So you guys are connecting with somebody that you have a lot of fire, a lot of heat, a lot of passion, good sexual chemistry. You guys are connecting with somebody um, along those lines and just enjoy it. All right, water signs. You guys have past life relationships. You have known each other before. You guys got that soulmate coming in or you are with your soulmate. Um, yeah, you guys either have soulmates coming in or you're with your soulmate. Um, and you know, this person sparks a different feeling for you. You know, this is your soulmate. So hold on to them. Um, no relationship is perfect, but this is going to last. And air engagement. Your life is descending to a new, newer and higher commitment. So, um, I think there was another one flipped. Nope. So you guys, um, you have that soulmate coming in uh, that you're going to be meeting, your life partners. The Libras are getting out of that depression. Like, enjoy this moment. Enjoy it because you guys have lots of love coming in. And that person that is meant for you is coming. You are manifesting them as we speak. So um, keep the faith because you guys have big things coming for you. So I hope you guys have a beautiful June 1st and be watching for my other videos to be coming out tomorrow. Um, I'm releasing the weekly, the bi-weekly, and the monthly all for the month of June on June 1st. So, all right, lots of love. I love you guys. Thank you for your support, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.